Osama Bin Laden shit, I'm gonna handle the shit myself. Cause I can't understand how they can't find a motherfucker six foot six with a nappy beard and a towel on his head. But they can find my cousin four foot eleven in common. <laughs> you know what I mean? The motherfucker worth half a billion dollars. Look for the cave with the satellite hookup. If a Rolls Royce is parked in front of the cave, nigga probably in there. If you walk in the cave and he got velvet paintings of Saddam Hussein, I think the nigga in there. Who the fuck they got hunting this motherfucker? Goma Pow! Oh, no, no, Ben Laden. Ben Laden, I knew you was around here. We gonna get you. I told you I'd find him myself. Nigga, give me five bloods, five crips, four Mexicans, and three rednecks. This shit would have been over. Niggas and Mexicans, we done went over there and stole all the tracks off their tanks. Nigga, they tanks be on bricks. Niggas come back home. Nigga, who wants some tank tracks? And you know rednecks love hunting. Nigga, a redneck, you get that motherfucker a 30-yard six with a scope on it, he can hit a fly off a deer's head 500 yards. They don't fuck around. And they all got a hunting dog named Petey. You know them pointer motherfuckers. Nigga, redneck be like, you got that goddamn clothes with that boy sent on it? Take a whiff of that, Katie. Smell it good, boy. We're going in. Nigga, you drop their ass off in Afghanistan. Petey gonna point at the right cave. Motherfucker in there. Motherfucker in there. I smell it. Cause I know when them first flights went down, wasn't no niggas on them flights. Niggas in my line. Shit wouldn't have went down like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause them flights were from Boston to LA. You know how long a nigga have to save up for a ticket from Boston to LA? <laughs> nigga, nigga would have been on the plane. We ain't making no motherfucking U-turn. <laughs> Fuck you talking about, nigga? I saved up for these tickets for two years. <laughs> All that motherfucker got is a box cutter. Nigga, we grew up in the projects. We done been in a knife fight before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nigga be like, what's cracking, nigga? <laughs> nigga, we come from the show to bitch made motherfucker. Nigga would have whooped his ass and cut him up with his own shit and walked right to the pilot's booth. Yeah, uh, everything out here cool. Oh, uh, they ain't fucking with nobody else. Look, we was wondering if we could get some free drinks. Cause people kind of nervous. <laughs> Cause you know a nigga gonna get the hook up. Niggas, I traveled right after the shit happened. Nigga, I had a show in Boston. So, nigga, we leaving Boston, nigga. We getting on the plane. Nigga, we seen one of them Osama motherfuckers. You know, I know now how white people look at niggas. White people, I understand. Because I never thought I would be racist, nigga, but I see that towel, nigga. Nigga, nervous now. You know, white people look at a nigga. They're gonna try something. Hold your purse here. Come on, nigga. Nigga, I see one of them towels that motherfucker up to something. So I'm at the airport, nigga, and I see the towel, motherfucker. This is when I knew America was starting to work on racism. Cause I called a huddle. <laughs> nigga, the redneck came over, the Latino brother came over, even the little Asian dude showed up. Nigga, I said, come here, come here. I said, y'all see that motherfucker over there? That motherfucker make one wrong move, we fucking him up. Nigga, the redneck's like, you're goddamn right, boy. <laughs> Stick my foot so far up his ass, he'll be eating shoe leather for me. Nigga, the little Latino brother, I'ma cut him horns. <laughs> nigga, even a little Asian, I chop him three, four times, kick him in the head. I was like, all right, Jackie Chan, you down. <laughs> but y'all ain't gotta worry about that shit ever again. Cause they can only get away with that shit that one time. Cause they done woke up everybody. <laughs> nigga, you get on a flight now trying to fuck up, it'll be old white women getting up. Not today, sonny. <laughs> Take my teeth out my eye, man, bite your ass. <laughs> Cause y'all remember that retarded motherfucker? Remember the retarded motherfucker got on the plane, nigga? They whooped his ass. Cause the last time he took a flight, you know, I checked the story out. Last time he took a flight, he was 11 years old. And he retarded, so, you know, they let him come in the captain's booth, let him look at the knobs, you know. And when they got done, they gave him a set of pilot wings. The little retarded motherfucker was happy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this is his next flight. Now he's in his 20s, but he's still a retarded motherfucker. 
So he get on the plane, nigga, he want to go to the pilot booth because he want to see the knives and get some more wings. Nobody knew he was retarded. All they seen was a motherfucker get up trying to get in the booth. Nigga, that whole plane stood up and fucked that retarded motherfucker up. They beat some sense in that motherfucker. They beat him to a professor. That motherfucker came on the plane retarded. Now, I got to I died, I got rocking. That motherfucker left the plane. Bloody HBO, they all get stuck in that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm here to advise you, going to the pilot booth is not an option. <laughs> he teaching at Harvard right now, still got his wings on. Hello, welcome to class. Yeah, Cause he snapped in and out, ain't down there.